Hey everyone, this is Ross from CryptoCrane. Today I'll be reviewing the brand new Antminer L3 Plus Litecoin Miner from Bitmain. As usual, Bitmain did an amazing job packaging these devices. It's extremely rare that we ever receive anything that is uh, damaged in shipping. Hey look, an instruction sheet. You'll find this helpful, especially since I'm not going to be covering configuration of the device in this review. You'll notice that the design is very similar to the Antminer S9 series. The only noticeable difference is that it's about 2 inches taller than the S9 and has 4 hashing boards instead of 3. As you can see, each hashing board requires two 6-pin PCI Express power connections and one more for the controller. That makes 9 PCI Express connections total. You don't want to buy a power supply that has fewer. Selecting the right power supply is very important. In this case, I've chosen the Antminer APW5, which was designed by Bitmain specifically for mining devices. The APW5 is the big brother to the Antminer APW3 power supply, which is cheaper, but only works with circuits running at 205 volts or higher. The APW5 here, on the other hand, can supply up to 1300 watts over 110 volt or up to 2600 watts over 205 volt plus. If you don't want the Antminer APW3 or APW5 power supplies, I would then recommend the EVGA Supernova 1050GS. Just make sure that whatever power supply you pick can provide at least 850 watts, has at least 9 6 pin PCI Express power connectors, uses a single 12 volt rail, and has a gold or platinum efficiency rating. The power meter to the left side of the screen shows how many watts are actually required as measured from the wall. It takes about 90 seconds before the fans really spin up. At the 2 minute mark, the miner's power draw increases quickly. The device is dynamically testing to determine the best frequency for each of the ASIC processing chips. The Antminer L3 Plus has 72 16 nanometer ASIC processing chips per hashing board, which makes 288 chips total. Each chip contributes 1.75 mega hashes per second, which is nearly double the performance of today's fastest graphics cards. It would take almost 500 top tier graphics cards to equal the hash rate of this single Antminer L3 Plus. At the 3 minute mark, the device has finished ramping up and is already hashing at the full 504 mega hashes per second. This is noticeably faster than the Antminer S9 startup process. Overall, I am very impressed with the accuracy of Bitmain's given specifications. I rarely see the device deviate by more than 3 to 4 mega hashes per second, and the power draw is almost exactly the 800 watts as advertised. Given that Litecoin is trading at over $30 each at the time of this review, and my electricity rate is roughly 13 cents per kilowatt hour, I'm generating over $40 in profit per day after subtracting the $2.50 in electricity cost per day. The first two batches of the Antminer L3 Plus shipped in the beginning of May and sold out almost immediately. The next batch is due to ship in July and pre-orders have been selling quick. If you're looking for a trusted American distributor with a 100% feedback rating, check out CryptoCrane's Amazon store now.